when an 18-year-old, Trey Williams, was shot to death by Shebbeville police. A federal lawsuit filed by the family has been settled. WLKY Steve Bergen spoke uh, today with one of the attorneys involved in the case. Steve? Rick, in court filings, attorneys had asked for $11 million. However, lawyer Frank Muscagney says it wasn't about money, but about getting answers. Trey Williams was tased numerous times before he went down. What you cannot see is the struggle. Two Shelbyville police officers say Williams got up and charged at them. Uh, you've seen it. Uh, that video was shocking to me. Williams had broken into his grandmother's home. Neighbors called police to say he had been walking around the neighborhood acting strangely, carrying a PCP pipe and a Bible. Officers found him in the bathroom. They didn't follow their own rules, SOP, for dealing with hostages, barricades, and mentally ill people. Williams was shot three times. A grand jury refused to hand down indictments against the two Shelbyville officers. Muscagney says he and co-counsel and old father spent seven hours mediating a settlement. I'm at liberty to tell you the amount, but I would prefer uh, not to do so until we do the final formal settlement documents, which hopefully will be within a week. Shelbyville Mayor Tom Hardesty issued a statement that the city is pleased the matter has been resolved, but, quote, the city admits no liability as the result of this unfortunate incident. They did accept responsibility because they gave us their word they would write a check. And as how Trey's mother, Stephanie Williams, is dealing with the end of this case. Spoke with Stephanie the first good night's sleep she's had in three years. Now, Shelbyville has insurance with the Kentucky League of Cities, which will cover some, if not all, of that settlement. Steve Bergen, WLKY News. Thank you, Steve. Muscagney doesn't believe this case would have been settled had it not been for police cameras. He says 